Hey, welcome to this tutorial on mastering the awesome mass transition in DaVinci Resolve. In this video, I'll show you how to create this amazing effect. Whether you're a beginner or not, this tutorial will show you how easy it is to apply the popular mass transition and take your videos to the next level. So let's get started. First, open up DaVinci Resolve and import your clips into your media pool. I'm gonna drag them in and create a new timeline. And then we're gonna go to the edit tab. And this is the clip that I want to mask out. So first I'm going to shorten it down a little bit so I don't need to track as much. Yeah, I want to start somewhere around here where I have the building in sight. And then I want to follow the building out of frame like so, and then shorten it down like so. So the clip you want to mask, you need to bring on top of the, of the transition um, layer. We're going to select that clip and then we're going to mask it out. So we're going to do that in the color tab. So we're going to jump over here and make sure you have your top clip enabled. So you can see you have it selected here. If you go to the color tab, if you don't have clips enabled, select it up here. I try with magic mask and that is a studio feature only. It's normally great for masking, but it won't work on this image probably because there's too much of a similar color between the building and the, the background. So I'm going to help myself out by finding a place where I have as much contrast between the building and the sky behind. And I'm going to go to the power window tab and choose a linear window. And this works great because it's a building, so it's not really changing form. And if I zoom in on the building and go up here, so it's better not to bring in the sky because I really want that to be masked away. So it's better to go in a little bit on the building itself, like so, and the same down here, I'm gonna pull it in a little bit and you can see I have some softness applied here. So that also helps me get away with a better tracking. So in order to track it, we're gonna go to the tracking tab. If you wanna speed up your tracking and you don't need tilt, zoom, rotate and perspective, Turn these off, it will, it will really help speed up your tracking. Here we just have a simple pants uh, tracking, so we're just gonna track it reverse like so. And you can see it's pretty fast, but it also has some issues. So in order to track, to change that, we are gonna go to the frame level. So click the frame here, and then we're gonna pull this out. Every time you touch your power window and frame level, you can see DaVinci will automatically insert a new dynamic key point. So DaVinci will automatically uh, uh, tweak and calculate all the changes between your key points. So we move off a little bit further like so, and we can see we need to move it out a little bit more. And let's see up to the key point, everything looks pretty good. So. Uh, by the way, in order to switch between key points, you can use these incredibly small uh, pointers down here, arrows. So this will jump one keyframe backwards and one keyframe forwards. And let's track the rest. See how it does. Not too bad, not too bad. So obviously the building is out of frame. So we want to bring this out of frame and let's see. It follows the building in. That's pretty good. But in order to mask it out, we need to create an alpha channel. We need to take the alpha output, the mask and bring it out. But we don't have an alpha output. So you need to go in the gray area here, right click, add an alpha output. You'll see it created down here. And now you can connect your mask to the alpha output and bam, you have your layer below. Now I'll turn the power window off. If you want to have a better chance of checking your power window, you can unmix down here and you won't have the underlying video layer to disturb you. So you can tweak it or better tweak it and take a look at your mask like so. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna turn that back on. And now you can do all your basic color correction, color grading. You can do whatever you want to your, if, to your, to your grade so, or to your clip. So you can add another note. And you can do everything else like you normally would after the mask. So let's add a Gaussian blur, for example. Let's say we want to blur this building out a little bit as it moves across. So we're going to take this note we created after the mask, open effects, 
drag a Gaussian blur effect on and we don't want to have any blur at the first frame so we're on the first frame on the clip here we're going to set a key point up here the little red diamonds and then we're going to move it a little bit along and slowly start to blur it out maybe not so much in the beginning move a little bit further along blur it out a little bit more you can see every time i touch the dials or the parameters up here it automatically sets a new dynamic keyframe and i want to blur it out even further here and then at the end let's say something like this so now if i go to the top of the clip full frame you will see it'll start to blur out as it moves across yeah so that's pretty cool but you can also do a text reveal at the same time why not so you go to the edit page we already masked clip number two so we're going to bring that up one track and we're going to add a text effect can drag that down there and here you can find a point where you can see the text and then you can start to edit it go to the inspector we call this transition if i could spell it would be like so i'm gonna make it a lot bigger like uh, maybe not too big i still want to be able to see it and why not do a not a drop shadow but we want to do a stroke and then let's fade it out at the end so i'm going to drag that in and then you can go full screen and play back your video and see your amazing mass transition and action how cool is that so easy to make but yet such a great effect so thanks for watching this tutorial on mastering the cool mass transition in davinci resolve if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorials and tips and smash that like button it really helps us get the content out there thanks a lot and catch you on the next one